it's Audra from the Kurtz Corner and today I am working on a fall craft that I'm really excited to show you. Um, it's a really simple craft. Anybody can do this, I promise. Super simple. You might have to watch the YouTube video a few times, but it's so easy. Um, I'm making this video after only having made two scarves myself. So really easy, um, inexpensive, and could also turn into a fun gift for your family at Christmas time or, um, or just to make them for yourself. Um, so today we're gonna be making a 30 minute uh, arm knitting infinity scarf. And um, it's really simple. I think the supplies cost probably about $7.99 per yarn bundle, so you'll need two. Um, but you can always get them, you know, half price at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, Joann's, wherever. So I like, when I do my arm knitting scarves, I like them big and chunky. And the scarf that you saw at the beginning of the video, that's what we're going to be making now. So I'm going to be making a scarf using this yarn here. And this is called Wool Ease Thick and Quick. Um, so this is what the package looks like if you want to replicate it exactly and then if you look at the back if you're not sure if you got the right one or whatever just look at the back and you can see here there's a number it says super bulky number six um, so that's what we're gonna use and what from the other videos that I watched on YouTube what I was most confused about was you know starting with my working yarn I wasn't sure if it was one bundle of yarn or if it was two bundles so you will need two bundles don't be confused you can't just make it using one um, so just take off your little plastic wrappings and then find the end of your yarn and all you need for this um, craft is just a pair of scissors and your body so what I'm going to do is I've got both of my yarn bundles here and I have the ends of both of those. So I'm going to take both of the ends here, put them together and pull some of the yarn off that I can work with. And then I'm going to start my scarf by creating my tail. So I just do like maybe four times, so like four feet of a tail. So it's a pretty long tail. So one, two, three, and four. So then that is gonna be my tail of my scarf. So I'm gonna take the end, get this hair out of my hand, and I'm going to create a loop. So just like making a slip knot. So I'm gonna take that, twist it, and then pull if you don't know how to make a slip knot, you can look it up. It's really easy. Um, again, loop, twist it, grab the tail, and pull it through. Okay, so then you have your first loop, and this is what we're gonna put on our arm. Um, so I'm just gonna slip it onto my arm, and then I'm just holding my tail in my hand right now and just pushing the knot up onto my arm so that it's tightened. And just remember that as you're going that you don't want to make this too super tight on your arm because as we add stitches, these will be the stitches, you're going to have to push it up your arm and the tighter it is, the harder it is to work with. And then also something that I guess I realized that the YouTube video that I watched that um, I learned how to make these with is the tightness that you put it on your arm determines the length of the links in your scarf. So if you want your links super long, um, then you're gonna want to do this looser on your arm. So don't think that you have to do this super tight to your arm as you're knitting. You can just make them kind of all even because we all know our arm gets bigger as it goes up. So just make it comfortable so that you can slide it up your arm um, and then we'll go from there. So, okay, so I have my first loop on my arm and I'm going to separate the two strings. So this is my tail and this is my working yarn. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your other hand and you're going to wrap it around your fingers. So for your thumb, you're going to 
basically go around around so like put it on top of your thumb going towards your body and it's going to create a loop on your hand and then take your other finger and grab the tail and then you're going to hold it in your hand so it looks like looks like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hand and you can see here on my hand it is creating the part that I'm holding here with my finger it's under and then this part that's attached to my wrist is over. So I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to slide it under and then I'm going to come over to the other hand and go under and then <laughs> this is really hard to show and then through the hole and then pull it down. So that created my first stitch. So I'm going to slide it at my wrist and again put your thumb make it go around towards your body and then other hand like that this is what you've got on holding your hand this is what it looks like maybe if you can see it it'll help you go under and then over so my hands in and I'm gonna go over and under and then up through the hole so I'll try to do this at another angle as well. I'll put the camera behind me. So I've got now, I now have three stitches on my hand and I'm gonna keep going. So wrap it, my thumb, so I'm sticking it in, going around, holding it like this, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna go under, over and under and through. And then just pull both pieces, tighten it up a little bit, and slide it up your wrist. So I've now created four stitches. Each stitch has two. There you go. So four stitches. And then I'll do one more here. So from this angle, I don't, I'm not sure if you can tell, but I'll put it behind me and so you can see it better from, from my perspective. So again, putting my fingers through wrapping it around my thumb towards my body and then taking this finger and doing going away from my body and making the loops this is what it looks like going under over and under and pull okay now I have another stitch on my arm so I'm going to stop and I'm going to put the camera behind me and then you can see it from my perspective. Okay, so I'm going to now show you the same thing that I was doing. So we're still casting on to the arm. The only difference now is you're seeing it from my perspective versus right out in front of me. So we've already cast it on, I think six or seven, we've cast it on seven. So for the scarfs that I'm making, I do 12. So I'm going to do four more. So here on my arm is what I showed you on the front. So all you have to do, so you've got your tail here, and then you've got your working yarn to this side. So take your thumb, wrap it around, and your finger, and wrap it around so you'll have this. Again, the same shape that we were making earlier. And you're gonna go under, over, and through the loop, and then pull tight too tight, keep sliding up your arm. So again, put your fingers through, basically just wrapping it around your fingers, and you're gonna go under this one, over this one, and then through. Okay, so two more times. Tighten up, put your fingers through the strings, and you're just going to basically wrap it around and then you're going to go under, over, and through. Okay, so one more time and then we'll have 12 stitches going up our arm. So our fingers are through. We're going to wrap it around. So we've got 
basically X's and we're gonna go under over this one and through the hole okay so now we've cast it on 12 stitches so that will make our wide infinity scarf and that's all you have to do for this step. okay so now that you've seen it from my perspective that's pretty much the hardest part that you're gonna have to go through making this scarf um, it's really easy once you figure out which ones you're going over and under so if you didn't get it the first time just go back and watch it a few more times I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out okay so now that we've cast it on our 12 stitches we're going to start our knitting so we're going to keep our tail over to the side and we're going to work with our working yarn so from your two bundles of yarn just pull out a few feet of yarn and you'll just keep doing that each time because sometimes it'll get hard to like tug it out so I just have a bunch and just set it to the side so take your working yarn in this hand that has the stitches on your arm and then take your stitch so that's two strings and you're going to pull over your hand and you're going to pull it through the hole that you just created and then you're going to take this hand and come through it grab the working yarn with this hand hand it to the other one and just kind of pull up and tighten on your arm so that's what it looks like. It looks like it's a mess. It really isn't, which is amazing. That <laughs> actually turns into something pretty. So, working yarn still in this hand. I've tightened up, not too tight. I'm going to take the working yarn back in this hand. And here's the tail. Just keep it to the side. Don't get confused. So, working yarn in this hand. I'm going to pull over another stitch so that I have my hole. Stick my hand through that. Grab the working yarn. Use this hand to help you. Just kind of tighten it up to your arm. Grab the working yarn. Pull over another stitch. Pull it through the hole. Stick your hand through. Grab the working yarn and pull tight. So I've just created three stitches on this arm now. So, okay, so slower. Holding the working yarn. Grabbing the two strings from the next stitch. Pulling it over and pulling the working yarn through, creating a loop. Stick your hand through and then grab the working yarn, tighten. Holding the working yarn, grabbing the stitch, making a loop, put your hand through, and just keep going. So I'm going to finish this knitting. Pull it through, hand in, tighten up, pull it through, hand in, tighten up, last three, hand through the loop, tighten, pull it over, hand through, tighten, and then the last stitch. Just pull it off your arm, through the loop, pull tighten. The last one doesn't get as tight as the other ones, you'll notice, but I promise it's still working the right way. So now we have just done our first step of knitting. So we've created the first links of our um, scarf with our finish ends here, and this is going to be the next links. So you're going to do the exact same thing with um, the other arm. So you're just going to go opposite direction. So holding your working yarn, Pull the loop off, put your hand through, use this hand to hold it and tighten up. Holding the working yarn again, pull it over, hand through, tighten up, hold the working yarn, pull it over, hand through, tighten up, and then just keep doing that. So it's the exact same thing you're just switching it over to the other arm and remember don't make it too tight because you're gonna work it up your arm and I just kind of like 
push it up my arm as I go. And remember that the tighter you make it, the harder it's going to make it to move up your arm, and the shorter it's going to make the lengths in your chain. So loose ones doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a bad scarf, it just means it's, the lengths are going to be longer. So just keep going, and I'll show you what it looks like. After you've done two different knittings, there's the last one. I'm going to pull tight. So, what I like to do after I've done a whole arm is I just pull down, and you'll see it's starting to create the different lengths there. So, there's one, two, and this is the third. So, you just kind of tug on it a little bit, and it'll straighten out for you, and then you just keep going. So it doesn't look like a whole lot right here, and it'll get wider as you go because it's all like just kinked up on your arm right now. And then this is what the front side looks like, and then the back side will look a little different. You see that? How it looks different? Oops. <laughs> so again, if you missed it, I'll do it one last time and then show you what three rows looks like. So this is really easy and the longer you do it the quicker you'll get. I, it looks like a hot mess in the beginning but it does actually turn into a pretty scarf once you get a few rows in there. So for my infinity scarf the two that I've made I like to be able to double wrap it around my neck so there's no wrong or right length or however many links that you want to add in your scarf. It just kind of depends upon how long you want it to hang on your neck. So I just wrap it around. I just keep knitting and then I wrap it around my neck twice. And if I'm happy with how it sits, then I'll just stop there. But I think it was like over 20 something links um, to be able to wrap around my neck twice. The last one, and there we go. So I pull that, give it a little tug. That's the back side, which is the ugly side, but there's the front side. So you can see it's turning into a scarf. So literally all you do is just sit and you go back and forth between your arms and just make sure you're not doing it too tight because it'll get hard to push up your arm. Um, and then I am going to show you on the scarf that I've been working on, which is a burgundy scarf, um, how to finish the ends off. So since this will take me another 30 minutes, I already had a scarf that was pretty much done. So I'm going to come back and I'll show you how to um, finish off your scarf. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to bind the end of your scarf off now that you've finished knitting all of the links. So I'm using a different scarf than I started with in the video since it just takes a while. I just went ahead and used a scarf that I was already almost finished with. Um, so right now what I'm left with is the knit that I have left here on my arm and I've got my working yarn here in my hand. So what I'm going to do to bind this off so that we can finish the other end of our scarf is I'm going to hold the working yarn here in my hand. And then just like we were doing earlier when we were knitting, I'm going to pull one of the loops off and then slowly pull that through. So that's going to create the loop just like when you were knitting. And I'm going to place my hand through that, take the working yarn in my hand and tighten it up, not too tight. So again, we have like we were knitting earlier. So again, holding the working yarn in this hand, I'm going to pull off another loop the working yarn through, slip my hand through, and then tighten it up just a little bit. Okay, so the difference here between knitting and binding is instead of just keep going, I'm going to come to this arm now and take the first knit and I'm going to drop the working yarn and I'm going to bring the first knit over the second one and let go. Then I'm going to grab the working yarn 
and I'm going to pull tight. Okay, so now we're left with a second knit on our arm. So again, grab the working yarn with this hand, pull another loop over, pull the working yarn through, slide my hand through, grab the working yarn again, tighten up just a little, drop the working yarn, grab the first loop closest to your body on your arm, pull it over the other one, pull your hand through, let go, grab the working yarn, and tighten. Okay, so I've basically just knitted off two of my ends. So I'm going to keep going. So I'm going to pull a loop off, working yarn through, put my hand through that, grab the working yarn, pull, drop that, pull the loop closest to my body, over the other one, let go, grab the working yarn, and tighten. Okay, so three times. That was three knits, so you can see it's finishing off the end here now. So again, for the fourth time, hold my working yarn in my hand like I'm knitting, pull a loop over, make the hole, put your hand through, grab the working yarn, and tighten. Drop the working yarn, grab the stitch closest to your body, pull it over the other loop, let go, grab the working yarn, and tighten. Okay, I know this took me a few times to get when I was first making it. This is, believe it or not, only my second scarf that I've made. So one more time, because I know it might be hard to see. Holding the working yarn, take a loop, Pull your working yarn through, put your hand through that working yarn, tighten, grab the, drop the working yarn, stitch closest to my body, pull it over the other loop, let go, grab the working yarn, and tighten. Okay, so we now made five uh, finishing ends. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that. So once you've literally, I guess, maybe I pick things up easy, um, it'll become easy to do this and you'll start going faster and it will take no time at all. So I'm just going to finish off. Do the last three. Pull it over, working yarn, tighten, pull the loop over, grab the working yarn and tighten, and then the last one. So this one's a little different. So I'm going to grab it with my hand, pull it over, put my hand through, tighten it up, and then I'm going to Pull this last one over, drop it, grab the working yarn, and tighten. Okay, so this last one's a little different. So I have it here on my wrist. I'm going to pull off of my wrist. I'm holding my working yarn in my hand, and then I'm going to pinch off the loop of the working yarn. And then I'm going to finish the end. So you can grab, you don't want to pull it through because then it'll end up just coming apart. So I'm going to hold that. And then I'm going to pull my working yarn through the hole. So that was just the last stitch. The last stitch I pulled off my wrist. I'm holding it here. And I'm taking the working yarn and I'm putting it through the stitch, so pull it through the stitch, and then you're just going to tighten it, so kind of like a knot, so just hold the working yarn, hold your scarf, and pull. So I just made like a little knot. So if, if I pull the working yarn, the loop's going to get smaller, so what you can do is you can just pull it through again, tighten it, 
really tight. And then you can you can cut your working yarn at this point. So cut it off long like a like another tail. And then you can cut this end. But I would like leave it and then if we're gonna make an affinity scarf, then you can attach it to the other end. Um, and you don't have to cut it, you can just kind of weave it into the end of your infinity scarf. But I'm just gonna cut this. So this is my working yarn at the other end of my scarf and I'm just gonna cut that. Okay, so now we're done with the scarf and if you didn't wanna make it an infinity scarf, then you'd be done at this point other than hiding the, the loop back into your scarf. And then at the other end of your scarf, you have that tail that we created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scarf ends. I'm going to lay my scarf out so that it's not twisted. And you can do this, this is if you're making an infinity scarf. So I'm going to take both of my ends so that the scarf is flat. So the back side of the scarf to the back side. Okay. And then I'm going to basically just take the tail or the working yarn, whichever end, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm probably going to start with the tail. And so you put the corners together. And basically all I do is I just take the tail and you can use a crochet hook or you can just use your hand, either one works fine. And I'm just gonna literally loop it around the ends of the scarf to knit them together. It's just like sewing a piece of fabric to one piece of fat fabric. So literally I'm just taking it and looping it around and around and around and through all the way to the very end and then you have your infinity scarf. So it's really simple. Um, it should get easier after you've done it a few times. I know my first 30 minute arm knitting scarf took me about an hour because I had to keep watching the YouTube video over and over again. But literally, this is my second scarf and I think it turned out really well and I was able to actually make it in 30 minutes or less. So if you didn't want to do the infinity scarf, again, just hide the ends and then you have your scarf or if you did want to make it an infinity scarf, bind the ends together, sewing, and you have your finished product. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks, guys.